Hello, today I'm going to show you how to download the Velocidrone simulator straight from the website. So first you want to go to the Velocidrone website, you want to go into the shop, you want to create an account and log in, and then you'll be able to go to the downloads page. We're going to download the Windows version today. It's going to download it as a zip file, and then I'm going to just drag and drop that onto my desktop for convenience for the tutorial and then we're gonna unzip that folder. We're gonna do that by just going into it, opening the Windows Launcher, and then I'm just gonna double click on the launcher.exe and then it's gonna give us a prompt to extract all. And once we get that, we're gonna get the Windows Launcher and I'm just gonna drag that on my desktop for convenience as well and then we can delete the zip file that we just downloaded. So then I'll open this launcher and then it's going to say launcher.exe and that is what we will pin to start and that's how we will start up the game from now on. The reason we go to this launcher.exe is because it'll load up this pr this menu here where it says checks for updates and this is how we will update. And then there's also a change a show change log at the bottom there. And it'll tell you what they added to the update, when it was and what version it is. Then we'll load up the game we're gonna go to the controller at the bottom left there and we're gonna plug our controller in and after we plug it in we're gonna you might get a prompt on your radio that says storage or joystick you're gonna click storage and then you're gonna click assign controller on Velocidrone and move your sticks around after that we can start assigning the switches and the sticks so you can assign a stick uh, so where it says axis versus buttons, unless you have like a button that you push in and it will stay pushed in, you probably just want to put it on axis if it's a switch or a knob or anything else. So I recommend axis and then we'll assign the sticks. So it's going to have you follow the sticks like it shows on screen, just like from corner to corner to kind of calibrate it. And then after it has you follow the sticks, it's going to tell you to move your uh, your roll to the right. For me personally, that would be my right stick going to the right. Then it's going to say, I think, pitch next. And, it's gonna, and that would be my right stick going up. And then it's going to say yaw to the right. And that would be my left stick. And it's going to say throttle up. And that would be also my left stick. And that is, uh, I think, mode 2 or American controls as I call it. And then the next thing we're going to do is select single player. We're going to click add quad at the bottom left. And then I'm going to just show you the toothpick today. I'm going to add the twig quad that I have already. So we'll just select it. And then we're going to change a few settings here. So I recommend always keep air mode on. This is so that you can turn your quad when it's in the air, even if you don't have any throttle. Um, we're going to set the prop wash to 0%. This is critical if you plan on racing and setting good times. And then we can also just change our camera angle. So. so then I added my twig. I'm going to delete the one I just added just for convenience. I don't want to have to deal with it later. And then I'm going to just select the one that I already had. And I'll show you how to rename it. So there's a rename option right there. Just type in whatever you want. I believe it sorts them in ABC order. And then you will select the track that you choose to fly on. I'm going to show you a few good track options. So I'll, you can search FMV. You can search Radio Breaker. You can also search Boner. I know it's funny, but he's one of our best track creators on the entire simulator. And then you can also search PSR or Weak one of those. And those will give you some great tracks to try out. And then if you want to try out a whoop map, I would recommend searching COVID and then picking one of these tracks over here. You can also tell that I hearted some of them. There's a favorite function. But since I chose eh, since I chose the twig today, we're going to search Radio Breaker because these are made for twigs. And we're going to go over here where it says game settings. And you see where it says single class three laps. If you want your time uploaded on a leaderboard you have to make sure it's either single class laps or single class three laps and I would also recommend clicking auto arming right below it so that uh, when you start a race and your quadcopter doesn't take off and you don't know why 
uh, it might be auto arming or you might have to like press the arm switch manually and then you could also go into your settings once it's loaded up and you can change your rates on your drone and then you can also mess with the other settings that you saw earlier and then you can change the track you can check your race leaderboard which we're which would show your three lap times and then you can also check the track leaderboard which shows everyone else's times and then you can also go to help to show which keys do what on your keyboard all right i hope this little tutorial helped and enjoy the simulator oh you can also change your brightness and other stuff right there in the bottom right of the settings happy flying everyone